Okay. So I just gotta find myself. Oh, perfect. A permanent marker. Just what we needed. Oh, don't need these anymore. Ooh, it smells so weird in here now. So now that we have our marker, all we gotta do is get a lighter. I'm gonna use the one that actually exploded. <laughs> so apparently they just hold this on like that. Boom. Perfect. And then they took this protective layer off like that and shoved that right on there. Yup. Wow. Wow, this is working a little too well. Okay, you guys ready for this? Oh no, I won't even twist now. I have to shorten this guy. Uh, Maybe this will do it. Okay, here we go. Okay, cool. Try this again. Okay, three, two, and... Ah! Oh no, it's like falling out now. I think it's just a little too big, so I'm gonna try it like this maybe. Uh, <gasps> I'm stay lit. Twist it. It's not lighting. Okay, maybe I'll try it with a different kind of Sharpie. We'll try it with the original. There we go. It's actually staying lit. What? Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, guys, I guess we could say this one works. I wasn't expecting that. But will it relight itself? It looks like a one-time use thing. Does the Sharpie still work? Oh. It's kind of a waste of Sharpie, though. I mean, a Sharpie is like a dollar, two dollars. Versus a lighter, you could get three of these for like a buck. Honestly, probably not worth it. But I guess we could still say it works. Okay, so it is pretty freaking hot outside. It is actually. Okay, so it's 106 out here. I don't know if you can see that. So it's really freaking hot. So apparently all we gotta do is get some ice and then we put it on our wrists. I'm gonna put it right on my craft tattoo. And apparently that should make me feel uh, cooler. I mean, so far it's working. Yeah, this isn't bad. Also, if you put it on the back of your neck, it also works. Oh my gosh, that's so cold. Woo! 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 It's dripping down my back. It's dripping down my back. Woo! I guess we can say that this one works! Hey guys, are you like me and can't buy soap at the store so you can't wash your freaking dishes? And you went and bought all this ramen because, you know, it's cheap and you can get a lot of it. But now you have no freaking bowl! What are you gonna do? yourself a paper plate and some forks and apparently we just kind of fold this baby up just like this okay looks pretty good and we just do the other side not bad you know what i think i'll be able to get away with three forks oh one just fell off just like that okay yeah looks pretty good i'm not gonna break them because i feel like i could still use these next we're gonna get our ramen i'm probably gonna break it up a little bit that way it can fit in there i used to actually eat this stuff raw uh when i was a painter and i would just go mm, that's pretty crunchy put that in there looks pretty good then we get our water Okay, now let's pop this baby in the microwave and hope it freaking cooks. A few moments later. Okay guys, so it looks like I freaking messed up and I wasn't supposed to add the water yet. I'm supposed to add boiling water. So I'm just gonna go ahead and boil this really quick. And while that's boiling, I'm gonna pour all this water out. Okay, that's all boiled. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our boiled water to this. Ah, uh, yes. Oh no, it's leaking! Oh wait, no, I just spilled it. Oops. Well, it seems to be holding up pretty- Oh no, you can't even see it. Is that better? Yeah, it seems to be holding up pretty... Oh no, it's leaking a little bit. Uh, it's kind of holding up. Oh no. <laughs> I think I might need a better plate or something. If you don't mind it leaking a little bit, I, I guess we could say that this one kind of works. For a super like emergency situation, I would probably recommend this. I'm gonna go ahead and wait a second for this to fully cook and then I'm gonna try the ramen. I forgot the flavor packet. Yes! Mix that up. Okay, let's try this. You ready? It's not bad. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say this one pretty much works. Okay, guys, so we got a new angle today. Uh, hey, how's it going? Anyway, here's our bowl, here's our water. I hope I didn't put that too high. Here's our tea light, but we have no wick in this one, so what am I even supposed to do with this? There we go, that's what I'm talking about. We just put it like that. Awesome, it's floating. Woo! Now we just light our candle. Oh no, it's wet. Perfect. Now here's our glass, and apparently it should, it should just uh, go up. Can you see it? <gasps> oh no, it only went up a little bit. Whoa, oh no, it is going up. Whoa, it went up a little bit. That was kind of cool. I'm gonna try it again. Oh no. Here we go. Put it there, and then it should go up. You ready? 
Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, it's rising, it rose a little bit. It actually rose. Okay, one more time. And here we go. And it's gonna start going up, it's gonna start going up. Do you see it? Okay, it's going up, it's going up, it's going up. You can see it. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, oh, oh my gosh. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Have you ever just like, you know, gotten your sink really freaking dirty? Like super dirty? And you're like, oh, I don't wanna clean that. So you just get a spoon? Have you guys ever went to clean a spoon and you know, the water redirects and hits you in the face? Well, <laughs> now we're gonna be taking advantage of that. Okay guys, so here's our sink. But unfortunately for me, it's not that dirty. But luckily I have some expired whipped cream. So here we go, shake, shake, shake. Oh no! Oh my gosh. Oh no! I have whipped cream all inside my sink! But lucky for us, we got ourselves a spoon! But also I have a sink that does this, so it's a little pointless. But for the benefit of the doubt, here we go. Oh my gosh! Wow! We're cleaning up our sink! We're using our spoon forces for good! The amount of control I have. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one freaking works. Alright, you guys, here are our receipts. Here's our hair straightener. I don't think this one will ever do it. There's no way this could ever happen. You guys ready? And a one, and two, and one! Oh, dude, that's so cool, actually. <gasps> and it gets darker, like, right after. Oh my gosh, this is so neat. Does it do both sides? Oh, only one side. Dang, that is really cool. Does it get darker if I do it longer? <gasps> it does the opposite! Oh no, it gets light for a second, and then it gets really dark. Dude, that is so cool. Wow! It's like heat sensitive ink. Okay, we'll try it with this one. You ready? And a one, and a two, and... Woo! Dude, that is so cool. Wow. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one freaking works. Okay, so you're at a party and you bring everyone pizza. You're distracted talking on your phone and everyone grabs a slice. And you look and there's none left for you. Oh man, what the... What? Well, we have a simple solution here. What you're gonna wanna do is grab your waffle iron, get some pizza dough, put it right in there. Boom, you got yourself a nice pizza base. Then you add the tomato sauce, the mozzarella cheese, some tomatoes, basil, and now you got yourself a delicious pizza that you are not sharing with anyone. This looks pretty darn good, and if you guys know anything about me, I love myself some good old fashioned pizza. Pizza is the best food. If you guys wanna fight me about it, tell me down in the comments down below. Looks pretty good, let's try this one. Woo, okay guys. First thing we're gonna wanna do is preheat the waffle iron. Then we go ahead and get our pizza dough. How do I open this? Oh, here we go. Oh my god! Oh, that scared me. Oh, oh, that actually scared me. Well, we don't need this anymore. Oh. And I accidentally hit my assistant. Oops. Okay, here we go. Just roll that out. Woo. Okay, now we're gonna cut down our pizza dough so that it fits in this bad boy. But first we need to add Pam so that it doesn't stick. Looks pretty good. Okay, don't burn myself, don't burn myself, don't burn myself, don't burn myself. Oh my gosh. This is so scary. Close that up. Okay, I'll see you guys when it's done. Hopefully I don't burn it too bad. Okay, it's been like a minute and a half. That's cooking really fast. I'm gonna flip it over. Dang! I definitely think it needs a little bit more time. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty, wow, that actually looks pretty good. Yummy. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our cheese. Oh no, I forgot to add the tomato sauce. Get out of here. I need to open this can. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. It's okay, I'll just put more cheese on top of it. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a delicious pizza actually. Then we add our tomato. I'm gonna slice it up real thin. Ooh, yummy. Then we add our basil. Oh, this smells awesome, actually. I'm pretty excited for this pizza. And there we go, we have our pizza. Pop it out. This looks delicious. Oh man, this looks so delicious, actually. Let's try it. Oh, yummy. <laughs> oh, I love pizza. And this looks like a darn good pizza. It's not bad. Definitely not the best pizza I've ever had. Mmm. I actually really like this. Hey guys, be honest with me. Do I have anything in my teeth? Is it here? No? Wait, where is it? <laughs> well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. I would rate this one an eight out of 10. Delicious! 
Yes, yo so. Hey, I want to play. Oh yeah, uh, here you go. Oh my god, that's the best pizza I've ever eaten. Whoa! What would you rate this one, Toby? I'm gonna rate this one a ten out of ten. But that's because I've never had pizza before. Ha <laughs> Mmm, delicious. Have you ever wanted your very own boat? But can't afford a boat? Well, I have a solution for you. Instead of going to Walmart and just buying a cheap $25 inflatable boat that's super portable, you buy a bunch of two by fours, and stick them together, and buy yourself a $150 water barrel. Cut a hole in that bad boy and put a pool noodle around it so you don't cut yourself. Now you're all ready to go paddle down the river. Doesn't that look like a lot of fun? Oh man, I think I'm gonna regret doing this one. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a barrel. And you guys would not believe how hard it is to find a 55 gallon water barrel like that. They don't even sell them at Home Depot. Like I had to special order them to the store and then wait a week. And I was like, no, I need this today. So I did what any person would do and I went on Craigslist. And we got some. Oh my gosh. And it even has remnants of a mystery fluid. You can kind of hear it inside of it. You hear it? He wouldn't tell me what it was, but he said it was non-toxic and I could just rinse it out. But first, we have to cut it open. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my drill, I'm gonna get my saw, and we're gonna go ahead and cut the hole. Let's hope this isn't that difficult. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, that should be a good spot right here. I'm so nervous for this. I should draw a guide of where I want to cut it, actually. Get out of here. Perfect. Now I gotta clean all these up. I don't know why I did this. This was dumb. So I'm thinking. Let's make it perfect. There's no way to make it perfect. Will I fit in that? Here we go. Oh, yep. There's the mystery fluid. This is so gross. It's just like weird, toxic, radioactive slime. And I don't know if I should be touching this with my bare hands or not. <laughs> I'm gonna go rinse this out. Okay. Now time to see if I fit. I really hope I do. That would be nice if I fit on the first try. Yeah, kind of slippery still. Dude, this is awesome! I can almost make this into a go-kart. Whoa! I've just been going through a phase lately where I want to turn everything into a go-kart. Let me get our pool noodles and our scissors. We're just gonna go ahead and cut them down the middle, just like this. Haha! Uh -huh. And we're gonna go ahead and put it around the lip so I don't cut myself. Wow! This turned out pretty nice actually. Now I just need a small section. Yeah, that should do it. This is awesome! I love it! Okay, so what I'm thinking is first I'm gonna lay out the frame. Okay, now it's time to screw it all together. Woo, yeah, looking pretty good. And it's all screwed together. Woo, let's go test this puppy out. Whoa, I really hope this works because I can't really swim that well. I need a life jacket. Got our life jacket. Okay guys, so before I set this guy off on its maiden voyage, down in the comments down below, let me know if you guys think this is actually gonna work or not. My theory is I'm just gonna get in and the whole thing's gonna tip over or it might work. I don't really know. Anyway, let's shove off. That's so cold. I think this might actually work. Let's try this. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, it's already sinking so much. Oh my gosh. No, that's not gonna. I think I need to flip this piece of wood over. Okay, you ready? Oh God. There's already water inside the bucket. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I think I know what I need to do. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these guys a little bit wider so that the barrel actually fits inside of it. Okay, we fixed it up a little bit. I actually screwed it to the barrel, so now it's like one rigid piece instead of just sitting on top of it. Let's try this again. I think this might actually work. Oh, oh my gosh. Ready? Oh God. Come on. I got this. Oh. What? This is actually working. Wow. Don't mind me. I'm just chilling in my barrel. What do you think, Chris? It's good, dude. I think it's time to take the thumbnail. In disguise. It applies me. I don't, know. I don't know how this goes. You ever watch Moana? No. What? Dude, this thing is so hard to steer. I keep going in circles. Dude, your voice is echoing. How far I'll go. 
I don't know if I really trust going out farther than this. Should I do it? I'm gonna do it. Wow, I, I was not expecting this to actually kind of work. Let's try and get back in the land. I'm just gonna try standing. All right. This is how the professionals do it. I think I'm going down. I'm going down. I'm going down. Oh my god. Maybe I shouldn't have standed in this. Oh my god. I think it would be more effective if I just sat on it at this point. Oh. Oh. Well guys, I guess we could say that this one, it fucking works. Not very well though. I would probably give this like a four out of 10. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. What am I gonna do with this boat now? Okay, so this one looks pretty good. But the first thing I'm gonna need is the intern's phone. Okay guys, so the intern's been here for about two weeks and uh, I actually memorized his bathroom pattern. So he goes to the bathroom every single day at exactly 5.52 p.m. and it's currently 5.51 p.m. So he should be coming out any minute. Okay guys, so we got his phone, and I'm actually going to take it out of the phone case, and then we're gonna go ahead and replace it with my already broken S10. You know what? Maybe we should break it a little bit more. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Next, we're gonna need a screw. Here we go. Yeah, that ought to do. Or should I say, that ought to screw. Oh, uh, that was a bad joke. Boobity boop. Now that we have our cut up screw, go ahead and just hot glue it right to the phone. Oh yes, looking good. It also said to get shards of glass. I guess I could just use this top from a Ferrero Rocher that I got. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that looks pretty legit to me. Now I just put on the case, do the other side. Yeah, I definitely think that the intern will fall for this one. Can I talk to you for a second? Hey Mike, how's it going? Hey, dude, actually, before you talk to me, have you seen my phone? Oh, I've been was... looking all over for it. I actually wanted to talk to you about that. Why? So, so you seem like you've been really homesick lately, and uh, I feel like your phone has been nothing but a distraction because you've been, you know, talking to your friends and your family. Yeah, you know, they're my friends and family. So I destroyed your phone. Well, that is the most stupidest thing you've ever done, dude. dude why'd you take it? Just break it. That's so messed up. <laughs> Destroy this? Do you think insurance is gonna pay for this? <laughs> Dude, wait a second. This isn't my phone. No, that's totally your phone. Wait, this isn't my my phone's white. Like I think I have a confession. What? What? You've been praying. I, I, I've been pranked. You've been pranked, been pranked bro. Whatever. Can you just leave? Dude, I don't even care about my phone. I don't even know where it's at anymore. Well, I'll see you later. Bye. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one, 100% works. Hacking life hacks. Why are they putting shaving cream on a phone? I don't understand. So you don't have pack peanuts? Easy, just use popcorn. Put all your delicate glassware right inside there with the popcorn. I definitely don't see anything going wrong with this one. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a box. Yeah, this lens box should do perfectly. Yeah, don't need this anymore. Nice and empty box. We even got a little bit of extra padding in there, so that's good. Go ahead and pop some popcorn. Uh, two minutes ought to do it. Now the popcorn's done. Go ahead and put our glass in there. Maybe upside down. Yeah, that should help it a little bit. Drop our popcorn right in there. Yes! Looking good! And for good measure, I'm gonna go ahead and tape it shut. Okay, and I think we are all ready. Now let's test this bad boy. This should be a good test. Right down the stairs. Here we go. I don't know if this is fair because it fell on bubble wrap. <laughs> Ironically enough. Uh, maybe if I throw it from the balcony? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. I didn't hear any breaking. Okay, so I didn't hear anything break when it fell. It looks like it's still in fairly good condition. So I guess we'll just open it up and see uh, if it's still intact. Okay, boys, moment of truth. Here we go. And oh, looks good so far. I'm gonna pull it out. It's still in one piece. Wow! 
It's either one very strong glass, or I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Who knew that popcorn could be such a good packing material? And it's biodegradable. Mmm, yummy. Here's a fun trick. If you ever want to knock on your roommate's door, but you don't want to sound rude, I always just, uh, you know, I do it to a beat, like. Anyway, here's our yarn. Here's uh, glass one, full of water already. Glass two, not full of water already. I guess we just uh, dip the yarn in here like that. There we go. Okay, what the heck am I supposed to do next? Do I hold the string in place? I am so confused. Do I just, I don't know if I'm supposed to hold the string. Here we go. Ooh. It's kind of working. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 it'll fall out. I feel like I need to attach something to the bottom to keep it in place. Maybe this bolt will work. I don't know why it has blue tape on it, but it's fine. Here we go. Oh! Water is traveling down the, the yarn, but a lot more water is getting here. That's for sure I bet if I just did this and I held it like eventually all the water would go from here to here Actually, I kind of want to try I think I saw a hack once where they just left it like that and then all the water went from here to here So I'm, I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and uh, we'll see if anything happens like that Here's a little clock so you guys can see how long it's taking. There you go. Ah, I got this Perfect. Okay, uh, I'll be back in like 15, 20 minutes and uh, we'll see if this got filled with water at all. There's already kind of a small puddle at the bottom, so <sighs> we'll see. See you later. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. Oh, oh. And it looks like we actually have a little bit of a small puddle in there. So. It does kind of transfer water, even if you just leave it, so that's pretty neat. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one kinda works, but uh, it, it's not, it's, I don't know, I can't really get it to work as well as it did in that video, so uh, it kinda works. Do you like eating eggs in the morning? Well, I have the perfect solution for you. Just cut off your top for the orange, hollow it out, and then put your egg right inside of it. Cover your orange in coals, and it cooks the egg. Mind blown. I really don't know how I feel about this one. Like, it could work, it could possibly cook the egg, but it could also not, and I could get salmonella. But you know what? That's what I'm here for. I'm doing this for you guys so you don't have to. Cause I'm the life hack king. Now let's try this one. So first things first, we got our orange. Here we go. We only really need one. This one seems good. Don't need these anymore. Go ahead and cut it in half. Okay. Now we take out its guts. Ooh, yummy. Wait, I need a plate. There we go. Dang, these are coming out pretty clean, actually. Looks good. Now we do the other side. Pretty good orange. Okay, we're all set. On to the next part. It's fire time! F -f -f fire time! Fire time! Fire time! Say it again with the fire in the back. So now that we got all that out of our system, all we gotta do is put, ooh, be careful, don't burn yourself. Put your orange peel on top of the burning coal like so. You get your egg, and you just kinda put it in there. Oh wow, that fits actually perfectly. Let me go ahead and put the other side on top of it. Take that. <laughs> No! I regret my life decisions. Oh my god. I had it so perfect and I had to go and mess it up. Now we just gotta wait for this to cook. They didn't say how long. Um, okay, it's been about two minutes. Uh, the average time that it takes to cook an egg, I probably, maybe, I don't really know how long it actually takes to cook an egg. Ah! Why do I keep doing this? Why do I do this to myself? Wow, that's looking pretty. Uh, not cooked actually. I think it needs a second. It's actually cooking. Oh my god. I can see it. Oh my gosh You can actually see it cooking. Oh my god. This is beautiful. I'm really happy about this Okay, I'm gonna put this back on for a second. Do your thing egg become egg. Wow I'm kind of happy. This is sort of working I really need to stop dropping the top. Okay, it's been like uh, six minutes or something. I don't know. <gasps> Whoa! Our egg is almost cooked. That is beautiful, actually. Do you think that's about done, or do you think it needs some more time, Chris? I think it needs some more time. Yeah, the yolk's not done. Oh, just a little bit. But it's actually cooking, and it's not like burning through the orange peel, so that's good. <gasps> no, I broke the yolk! It's starting to leak, but it looks like it's about cooked. If you like leaky egg. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I think it needs more fire. More fire! Yeah, that, that ought to cook it. Okay, this is uh, about done. Uh, let's go try it. 
Okay, I don't really know if I'm ready to try this. It's looking a little funky. Kinda smells like burnt hot dogs. Uh, well, I guess we're trying this. Okay, here we go. Ugh. Oh, it's, I feel like it's not completely cooked. Oh my gosh, it's fine. A little bit of rye egg never killed anyone. Or did it? Probably a little bit. For some reason, it tastes like burnt hot dogs. Like, really badly burnt barbecue hot dogs. It definitely needs some salt and pepper. Um, but, yeah, it kind of tastes like egg. Not very good egg, but it tastes like... Nope. Nope. Oh. So, I guess I'm gonna have to give this one probably uh, a 3 out of 10. Would not recommend. Uh, don't try this one unless maybe you wrap it in foil or something. But, uh, I'm gonna say that this one, not really that good. Doesn't work. Okay, so here's a fun one. Did you know that you can make popcorn with your waffle iron? Neither did I! How weird! How wacky! I don't know if this one will actually work. I'm sure it will because you're just adding heat to the popcorn kernel. But... You never know. I'm pretty 50-50 on whether this one will actually work or not. I guess we're just gonna have to try it. Okay, so preheat our waffle iron, open her up, spray her down, and just add our popcorn seeds. Not gonna lie, this makes me a little nervous. Down in the comments down below, uh, let me know if you guys think that this one will work. My guess is, uh, maybe. <laughs> I feel like it might work, but it'll burn a lot of popcorn. Anyway, only time will tell. <gasps> I think I already heard one pop. Let's wait for it. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Waiting, waiting. <gasps> oh, I heard a pop. Oh my gosh. Oh. Is it gonna do it? Is it gonna pop the popcorn? We got one. I definitely feel like I need to move these kernels out of the way a little bit. That would help a little bit. We got one so far. Not bad. We're just waiting on the others. Welcome to today's game show called Will It Pop? My guess is, uh, Probably not. I don't think they're all gonna pop. Maybe a few of them, but for the most part, I think this is just gonna burn the popcorn. You've got this waffle maker. I believe in you. You can do it. Oh, it's starting to pop. Got a couple little ones. I'll pull them out just for safekeeping. So far, this definitely doesn't seem like the most efficient way to do it. Okay, so this is taking a while, so I'm just gonna do a time lapse and uh, we're gonna see how long this really takes. I'll be back. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, and uh, it's been about five minutes. Uh, let's see where the heck we're at. Oh, we did get some popping. This is one of the most inefficient ways to pop popcorn. Yeah, I don't really know how I feel about this one. So far, we got a small handful of popcorn. Oh, whoa! Some are starting to pop. But in the course of like five minutes, I feel like it could have microwaved a whole bag by now. So I guess we're gonna have to say that this one worked, but it's it's definitely not a life pack. It's not very efficient at all. Whoa, they just keep popping. Oh, huh? this one's about to do it. I can see it. It's about to do it. It didn't do it. Oh, well. Oh, I did it! Let's see if it makes the popcorn taste any better. Mmm, nah. It just tastes like regular popcorn. <laughs> so yeah, I would rate this hack a, uh, oh my gosh. I would rate this hack a three out of 10. Wouldn't really recommend. Anyway, on to the next one. Okay, so you're out in public and you see a super dirty elevator button. Ew, you don't want to touch that. A random guy comes up and he's like, hey, I got the stuff. Sanitizers, masks, wipes, you name it, we got it, okay? This man's your hookup. This is like how it was at the beginning of quarantine. You guys remember that? Dang, $30? for paper towels? That's not too far off. $90 for masks? Woo! They're really getting you there, aren't they? But you got yourself an even better solution. Just get yourself a glove filled with who the heck knows what and start covering one of the fingers with 3D pen filament. Slip that bad boy on your finger and you got yourself an elevator button presser. Don't need this guy. Huh. You know, I think it would be easier just to cut off the fingers of the glove, but this is definitely a more reusable solution, so might as well try it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a glove. Now I'm gonna stuff one of the fingers with paper towels. Boop, boop, boop. Come on, get in there. This really isn't very form-fitting to the finger. Well, it's uh, it's good enough. This looks so weird. Okay, now we just uh, cover this in the 3D pen to make our weird finger protector thing. Boop, boop, boop. It really doesn't like to stick to the glove. How do they do it so easily? So it looks like they started out an up and down motion like this. Oh no. Why do I suck at this so bad? There we go. Looks good. Now we just gotta do the rest of the finger. This is gonna take a little while. Oh! Ow! Well, it's not a Robbie video unless I burned myself with the 3D pen. That doesn't sound right. Honestly, I could just cut the rest of this off. Boopity boop. Perfect. Now I have nothing to get in my way. It sounded a lot more evil than I than I anticipated it to be. This is taking so long. Okay, 
and this is uh, what we ended up with. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but I think it'll work. If I really wanted to, I could probably sand this down so that it's nice and smooth, but I feel like that would take a lot of work and uh, uh, eh, effort. <laughs> okay, so now I gotta try and get this out without ripping the glove. <gasps> it just comes right out, perfect. But does my finger fit? Let's find out. And... I mean, it doesn't go into the very tip of it, but uh, yeah, you can almost make yourself a finger cast with this. This is pretty cool. And this is solid. I'm actually kind of impressed with this. Well guys, I guess we're out to say that this one works. Is the battery in your mouse just completely dead? What the heck? It's not working. And you don't even need both batteries. All you gotta do is put one new one sideways. Will this work? I'm not really sure. Who buys Ikea named batteries? They're just like, just go out of my way to get some Ikea batteries here. Okay. Let's see if it works. Okay guys, so here's my mouse. I use this mouse every day and I'm really hoping that this doesn't, you know, break it. I don't think it will, but you know, there's always the off chance. But you know what, five minute crafts, they've never let me down before. So I don't see why they would this time. So, okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and put battery in sideways, apparently. And theoretically, this should just work. Here we go. Okay, so so far it's uh it's not really working. There's the there's the cursor right there. It's not moving at all. I think I have an idea. I used to do this all the time with my RC cars because I never had enough batteries for them. Just grab a little bit of tin foil like this. There we go. Kind of ball it up. Probably don't even need this much. And you just use it to help it connect. I used to have like triple A's and then it would require uh, double A's, so it just wouldn't work before. Oh, it would also help if the mouse was on. <gasps> it's oh my gosh. What? Oh my, what? Would it have worked before? Oh no, it doesn't work without it. Okay, okay, so here we go. Add the tin foil, put the battery over, just a little bit. There we go, put the battery cover on. Okay, let's try it again. Okay guys, so it wouldn't work crossways uh, like I had it before, but I made a discovery. If you just put one battery in, look at that, it's moving, it works. And there's only one battery in there. What? Look, I'll even, wow. <laughs> So I guess you do only need one battery. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say it. This one actually kind of works. Wow, I am impressed. Do you just have no place to put your toothbrush in your bathroom? Well, just hot glue a magnet right on the back of your toothbrush. You don't even need a magnetic strip, it's metal. Why would you need a magnetic strip? I feel like this one will work. So unfortunately, the only magnet I really have is this one. It's a giant magnet used for magnet fishing. It can hold up to like 120 pounds. It's a pretty big boy, uh, more than sufficient for what we need. But it's the only one I have, so I guess it'll have to do, am I right? This is gonna be pretty complicated. I don't know if I could actually do it. Maybe attach it right to the back right there. And carefully put the magnet on. Maybe I should put the toothbrush on the magnet. Yeah, looking pretty good. Very solid, very on there. Maybe a little bit more uh, hot glue just to be safe. Yes, now this is what I call Perfection. I even have a handle to hold my toothbrush now. I mean, it had a good handle before, but this is way better. Now let's go try this guy, shall we? Oh, wait. We already have a problem. Oh, I guess there's a little bit of metal on the bottom of the, of the mirror. Okay. Yeah, that's on there. I'll try it on the part that they said to use. They didn't have a fancy mirror like I do. Oh God, that is that is stuck on there. This is ideal. Hey, wait, what the heck? What the heck are you doing to my spike? I'm sorry, Kyle's toothbrush. I didn't mean it. Now that I think about it, I don't even need this spot anymore. This is all I need. I mean, I can't close the mirror all the way, but do I really need to? Now this is innovation. You can keep the old way of doing things. There we go. Yes. Out with the old, in with the new. Actually, now that I think about it, I could put this toothbrush anywhere that's metal. Nope. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> ah, I've been lied to. What? Even the sink? My whole life is a lie. But other than that, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one totally works. So now we all know how versatile waffle irons are. But did you know that you can make yourself 
a s'more sandwich. Just add your chocolate, add your marshmallows, put the sandwich together, and boom! A delicious toasted s'more sandwich. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> this one sure looks delectable. Let's try it! Okay guys, so for this one, I'm gonna have Toby do it. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one! I won't fail you, Robbie! I'll try my best! Okay, so I didn't open it. Oh, man! Mission accomplished! Put on our bread! Baba Booey. Yep, yeah, let's go! Uh, chocolate! <laughs> hey, Robbie, do you think you're gonna help me open this? Oh, yeah, uh, sure, Toby. <laughs> and a marshmallow! <laughs> oh, uh, I want more bread! Thousand years later. Okay, I think it's done. Oh, that looks delicious. Oh, 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 oh no, no. Maybe use a knife. Oh, yeah, good enough. Oh, get out of here. Well, oh, Toby, it looks like you did a, a, a great job. Thanks, Robbie. I really tried my best. Well, I guess it's uh, it's time for me to try it. Oh, I want to try first. Oh, 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 You gotta be more careful. You don't think I know it? I'm gonna try it now after it cools off a little bit. Okay, let's see what this beautiful creation that Toby made tastes like. Ooh, I got some chocolate on me. I feel like it's gonna taste a lot better than it looks. Mm, I mean, it can only be so bad because it's literally marshmallow and chocolate. It actually tastes pretty good. Mmm. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. I'm gonna go ahead and rate it a 7 out of 10. If I was a bigger chocolate fan, I'd probably rate it a 10 out of 10, but I'm not that huge of a fan of chocolate, so. Yeah, it's still pretty dang good, though. Mmm. Oh, God, right in my hair. Oh, no. <laughs> How am I supposed to turn off my camera? So the first thing I'm gonna need are some pins. Boo -bitty -boo. Yes. Ah, oh, perfect. Grab our hot glue gun. We have to wait for it to heat up. 15 minutes later. Okay, so this is all heated up, but I actually decided to go with my original glue gun. You know, the one that this all started with. I'm sorry, glue gun. I'll never leave you again. Uh, 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 uh. Good times, good times. Anyway, don't need this anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these out. Yeah, like four should do. Then we go ahead and break out the wire cutters. It went flying everywhere. So we got those cut up. Then we get some hot glue, dab it on there, and we stick it right on my finger. It's as easy as that. Get a few more, then we do the back of my finger. Same thing. Ah, that's actually really hot. So I guess I'll put it on the needle first. to cool down just ever so slightly. And just stick it on there. Okay, yeah, that looks uh, that looks pretty uh, decent, I guess. Then we're gonna get some fake blood. I only need the tiniest amount. There we go. Get a little bit of blood. Dab it right on the glue to kind of hide it a little bit. Anyway, let's test this out on the intern. How the heck do I open this very carefully? Oh my gosh. Mike! Oh my god, Mike! Mike! Oh, dude, I stabbed my finger did you, did like four times with a pen. Dude, Why? Oh my god, dude. Oh my dude, I don't know how I did it the first time, but I did it three. Oh my god! Oh, oh god! What is this? What is? What happened? It's a. It's a pin. Is it real? Brother. What are we gonna do? Mike, calm down. What are we gonna do? Dude, calm down. It's just a prank. Dude, you've been pranked. What do you mean? What do you mean? Dude, you're. Are you not hurt? It was a prank the entire time. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Well, I'll see you later. Here's how to make yourself a delicious breakfast sandwich. All you gotta do is put the bread, some egg, and also some bacon inside that bad boy. Then it's all cooked, and you put it all together. Wow, that egg does not look natural at all. Why are they putting chocolate on your breakfast sandwich? Chocolate on eggs? What is wrong with you? Anyway, okay, this is the part where we try it. Okay, guys, so for this one, we're gonna need to break out the big boy. Get out of here, little waffle ice. <laughs> First things first, we add our bread, then our bacon, two slices ought to do it, and we can't forget our eggs. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close it up and hope for the best. I'll see you when it's done. Hopefully I don't burn down the house. Oh, and it's done. Let's see how it turned out. Whoa! Okay, so my synopsis, the bread looks like it's properly cooked. The egg, not bad. The bacon, I think it needs a little bit of time. Okay, let's start putting this bad boy together. We get our egg. I don't fully trust this bacon, so I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer. Two 
hours later. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. Go ahead and smack that on there. Oh, that actually looks freaking delicious. Okay, let's try it. Oh, this looks really yummy. I'm gonna cut it in half. Do you guys cut diagonal or in half? My dad always taught me to do it in diagonal. I don't really know why. Ooh, this looks like a darn good sandwich. But does it taste any good? Mmm! This is pretty darn tasty, actually. I definitely think it's a little bit dry. And it could definitely use a little bit of ketchup. But other than that, I'm gonna have to say that this one works. I'm gonna rate it a solid 9 out of 10. This is a very tasty hat. I applaud you, 5 Minute Crafts. Good job! Mmm, tasty. <laughs> okay, so she's like, oh no, my spoon isn't sticking on my Nutella. So what she do? She just puts it in her mouth and starts biting it. <laughs> this is a good way to chip your freaking tooth. I bet her dentist loves her. Perfect, now you have a spoon that will nicely nest on your Nutella so it doesn't have to touch the table. I don't know if this is a good use case for this. First thing we need, tin foil. And unfortunately, I have a lot of messed up tin foil, so I have to get an unruined piece. There we go. Now we're gonna try our best and cut this as straight as possible. No! I'm gonna use an X-Acto knife because I feel like it's sharper. Oh, that's so much better. I thought. Turns out I, it wasn't better. No! Okay, we'll try this again. Back to square one. Haha! Can we go ahead and get a stick or something and just roll this over it? I'm gonna cut it a little bit shorter. There we go. Go ahead and roll it up. Whoop! Dude, perfect. So apparently now we just put this inside of a lighter. Boop. Okay. You guys ready to see if this works? And I think I had to turn this up actually. Huh? We'll try this again. Oh! If that doesn't do it, I don't know what will. Get back in there. Light our match. Are you guys ready? One, two, and... Oh, it's working! Woo! Oh, it went out really fast, though. Maybe it's because I was waving it around. I'm gonna try it one more time. Okay, now it's not working anymore for some reason. Oh, wait! I spoke too soon. Wow, that's fun. I mean, it works for, like, a second, and then it stops. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one, it, it kind of works. But for the most part, it does work. Very temporary solution, but yeah, it works.